Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I am part of Courtney from Creative on the Cheaps mystery box challenge. So I'm sure you've seen these videos before, but a quick run through. It is a group of us that gets together and we are assigned another person. We put a box together with a bunch of random items and they're supposed to craft with them. And there's always a special twist. This time around, this box came from Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. The last time that I was included in this, I was responsible for sending her a box, and we'll get into that in a second. But my box, I was assigned Whitney from Whiskey and Wit. So after you're done here, go watch Courtney, go watch Whitney. It's a whole playlist of people. It's a good time. So the thing with this box, Courtney told me to get a drink together. I'll pop that message up here. Because the last time that I was part of this, I sent her Flex Seal. It's like a handyman in a can. Now, I thought that I was being really nice and sending her an easy item because I thought in my head that everyone knew that Flex Seal was like a notorious thing that people used to make like doormats so that they can withstand the rain. Seal is actually liquid rubber in a can. Flex Seal is perfect for all your home repairs and covers easily. Well, turns out she didn't know that. If there is a clip to roll, roll the clip. <laughs> what? Black Flex Seal. Jay, what the heck? Okay. I am desperate at this point, and because this is black, I'm going to hope that this can act as spray paint. Um, Jay, my friend, you have officially taken the spot that Shannon has held for quite a while from sending me that fluffy troll pin. This is probably gonna like seal itself to the cardboard because it's flex seal. Oh my gosh, what? In my freaking hair? Look at that. It's everywhere. This is the worst. This is way worse than my troll pin. Anyway, so I know that this box is gonna be super difficult, especially since she suggested that I have a beverage. So let's see what she sent. I've already opened it, but I don't know what's in here. Beautiful packaging. Let's open the note. Oh, she sends Starburst. She's trying to, she's trying to soften the blow with a Starburst. Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate that. Jay, I am so excited that you're doing another round of the mystery box. I tried, quotation marks, to go easy on you. Promise me, you will still be my friend after you open the box. I know you will knock it out of the park. Can't wait to see what you do. Much love, Courtney. Okay, thank you for the candy. So here's the challenge item. I'm gonna open this last. Um, and it's two challenge items, so here we go. She sent some Dollar Tree greenery. Always a good time with the greenery. And I think I actually have a lot more of this, so cool. She sent some chalkboard stickers, sweet. This beautiful little sign, plant seeds of happiness. Huh. This little shadow box thing, a house full of love. I love that it's like a faux wood in the back. So thank you so much for this. I know that the hard stuff is coming. I wanna say that this is vinyl, but oh no, no it's not, just kidding. I think it's poster board. Yeah, it's poster board. We'll open that in a second. Ping pong balls, which if you know, I made the ping pong wreath a while ago. So yay. These things, I actually picked up some of these for a project, so yay. Thank you so much. The little plank clips, not for a project, but like a thing that I have going on at home. These little house thingies. I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree. And then we have this beautiful frame. It's just wood and, oh, this isn't a frame. This is chalk. I have this really cool family sign. Oh, I was like, what's shaking in there? It's this little back thing. I really like this. So let's move on to those mystery items. Let's start with this one. And she blamed this on her husband, by the way. She says that if I never want to speak to her again, to blame it on her husband. So hopefully he's watching. I 
I've got this loofah thing. I don't know if you can see it. That's like a little candy situation on a popsicle. Thank you, Courtney and Spence. Appreciate that. And moving on to this one. Oh, 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 <laughs> cling and seal. They sent me cling and seal. I cannot wait to get started. Honestly, though, all stuff aside, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I really thought that you guys were gonna sound like hemorrhoid cream or hemorrhoid cream. So this is not that bad. This is not that bad. So I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm excited to get started. But first I have some brainstorming to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're starting off with the first mystery item, which are the ping pong balls from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be using this little diffuser thing. I found this in the candle section. I am using a hot glue gun to make a hole. Usually I use a drill if you've seen all of my ping pong ball videos. I'm always using a drill, but for this, I used a glue gun so that I can make a bigger hole. Now for the top, I'm gonna use this Fiji bottle. You don't have to use Fiji, you can use whatever you want. And I'm just going to remove those little ridges up on the edge. I'm talking as if you guys are gonna do this at home. You're not. I'm gonna glue this as straight as I possibly can. I tried putting a dowel rod in there and it just was not working out. Next, I'm going to give it a coat of spray paint. This is the one that I used. Warm caramel is my favorite and boom, super easy. And don't use a real candle. By the way, my apologies, this video is gonna be a little short because I am in the middle of moving. I grabbed one of these and I spray painted it white. However, I could have used one of the rounder ones, which I think would have been a lot better for this craft. This is a mystery item and I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna take this cork cardstock type paper that I found at Michael's. Dollar Tree does have strips like this, which are a little sturdier, but they are very narrow. I'm gonna glue this up top and then cut around the edges. I placed it so that I could maybe cover another circle with this, and that's exactly what I ended up doing. I tried to take my time cutting this because this paper can crumble at any moment, um, but it did turn out pretty well. Next time, I definitely will use hot glue for this. I'm gonna use this from Dollar Tree. Now, if you see off to the side, there's another one of the mystery box items, but to be honest with you, I wanted to give this height, so I used this instead, but my original plan was just to go ahead and use the other one just to stack it a little bit. But again, I used this instead, and in the end, I kind of regret it, and you'll see why. So the only reason I covered this one is because the shade of the wood is completely different from the rest that I will be using. So I ended up covering it. Don't love how it looks, but for the edge, I just rolled glue. And this is the part where I realized that hot glue would have been ideal because once I set the hot glue, it was a lot easier to manipulate. I don't know if anyone's gonna be recreating this at home, but since it's Dollar Tree stuff, I figured I would give detailed explanations just in case. So if I were to do this again, I would probably use something else since you're not gonna see it. I took another wood round that I had left over and I put it in the middle just to give it a little contrast. And then that up top, I didn't put a lot of glue in case I hated it. And then the Dollar Tree snakes. This is where I went wrong because instead of placing it right at the edge, I placed it at the bottom, making it not as even as I would have liked. So I tried my very, very, very best. I added this little thing up top and then I put it on my little planter. I might redo this on Instagram. So follow me there if, if you don't already.
Now for this next one, I'm gonna use a canvas from Dollar Tree. I got the black ones because, I don't know, they were pretty. I'm gonna take this apart. Usually I use an upholstery um, remover, a staple remover, uh, but I could not find it. Again, I am in the middle of packing. Half of my house is in boxes, so I, I did the best I could. I I picked these up at Lowe's, they're square dowels, and then I put my canvas on top and measured the width. I cut them down using my mini saw. I use this all the time and I will link it below. I always have it linked in the description. I am cutting two across and one vertical and I'm leaving a gap at the bottom and you'll see why the gap in just a sec. I'm dipping this in Gorilla wood glue and then kind of putting it together as best as I possibly can. And I don't have stain because I'm packing. I used this and unfortunately I didn't have enough to do the back. So I was panicking. This is a challenge item. Thank you so much, Courtney and Spence. It took me unraveling so much of this to get a piece that wasn't completely wrinkled. My husband had to hold it up like a curtain. I had to use regular scissors and it was, it was a a mission <laughs> but we got some pieces that weren't completely crumbled and i'm going to use this as a little window and right now i had a panic attack because i wasn't supposed to cover that little space at the bottom thankfully i cut it down and it didn't uh wrinkle but while i was doing this i i was really punching the air um to cover this up because i really despise how this looks to make this a little bit more discreet, I am going to use something on top just so it looks a little nicer. Now I was going to use parchment paper but I didn't have enough so I used wax paper. I cut it down to size and then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now here comes the very obvious part. I am making a lantern. So I am assembling this as I normally would. And um, it really bothers me that I didn't create anything for the top. And that, as soon as I'm done with this challenge, I am ripping off that cling and seal. But um, for the bottom, this is the other challenge item. So the whole point was to combine two of these things. So I decided to go crazy um, and stab it so that I can put the other greenery that was included in the box. That way I don't feel so bad about not using the rest of the stuff because I'm using the greenery. So I am going all the way around, which is why I left that little gap. I'm using a Dollar Tree candle and boom. So that is it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to watch everybody else's video. The link to the playlist will be below. And if you haven't aren't already, follow me on Instagram because I might be tweaking these <laughs> later on. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.